Greetings, I'm Carmen Ville Conway, and welcome to the next episode of the Brown Skin Women podcast and show, where I help you improve your quality of life, starting with your natural hair. You may be like one of the many people in this world who suffers from some form of hair loss. And you may also be like many of these individuals who may not be aware of the extent of the hair loss they are struggling with and suffering from. As a hair care professional, I've seen many, many, many different types of scenarios where a client, A, didn't know they had hair loss, B, didn't know it was as bad as it was, or C, didn't know that they needed to actually see a doctor for professional help. So that's what I'm gonna talk to you about today. So what are scalp related issues? These are going to be issues that are occurring on the scalp. The scalp is skin, just like the rest of your body. So as a hair care professional, my expertise lies within the hair that grows out of the scalp. So from the scalp beyond to however long your hair is. But anything from the scalp beneath is going to be a different scenario and require different professional advice and support with any issues related to it. So you can come to me to get your hair cleansed and styled and trimmed, and I can educate you on how to properly take care of your hair at home and help you troubleshoot any issues you may be having and come up with a solution and a plan to overcome whatever these issues may be. But if one of those issues happen to be a scalp related issue, which doesn't necessarily have to be hair loss, it could be dandruff buildup, it could be some other type of medical condition like seborrheic dermatitis or psoriasis, Again, you want to see a professional. The professional is, in this instance, a medical doctor called dermatologist. They are board certified dermatologists who are licensed and skilled and have gone to medical school for an extensive period of time to become familiar with issues that are happening beneath the scalp. They specialize in hair, skin, and nails. The scalp is skin. It's an extension of the skin on the rest of your body. So if you're having issues related to balding, it isn't what's happening on the outside of the body that's causing it. Nine times out of 10, it's something going on on the inside of the body. And what you need to start with is a diagnosis. You need to figure out why this is happening in the first place. If you're trying to treat something that you see simply because it exists, and you don't know why it happened in the first place, you can never pinpoint if it's going to happen again. And if it does happen again, what the treatment should be. And if you wanna be preventative, well, what can you do to prevent it from happening all over? If that happens, and I think the most important thing in this instance too is, is this something that's going to keep reoccurring? There are some instances where you lose hair that's related to stress. There are genetic related issues. There are external related issues, which can be controlled like traction alopecia, which comes from tight hairstyling and pressure intense hairstyles. But outside of that, anything that happens on the inside of the body that's contributing to you losing your hair and impacting how it grows through your scalp, that's when you wanna see a doctor. Again, the people who specialize in scalp care, scalp related issues, and issues that happens beneath the scalp that will help you better understand what's going on with your body and what type of treatment plans you need. I wanna also highlight that self-diagnosing yourself is one of the worst things you can do, again, because you don't have the scientific knowledge or understanding that a professional will be able to dissect into. And even professionals may not be very skilled in certain areas, but they have the resources and the support to help them dissect and determine what potential scenario this could be that could be contributing to the hair loss you're experiencing. So if you are at home trying to troubleshoot, putting topical oils on your hair and all these things, it isn't going to fix the problem. If your hair is capable of growing back on its own without any type of intervention, so any type of medical treatment, any type of medication, then that means that your body's still functioning relatively normally because the hair can regenerate and revive itself. And if that's the case, nothing that you put on topically is going to alter that. That's going to happen anyway. Self-diagnosing can be a little bit complicated and complex in this space because nothing topically can change the body's anatomy on the inside. So seeing a doctor is just going to help you with having a diagnosis, a cure potentially, and a treatment plan to help you overcome this challenge that you're experiencing. So I wanna share with you a little history that I have seen happen time and time again within my career. Um, A lot of times my clients aren't aware they're having complications with hair loss. 
you can see what you can see clearly in the mirror, right? Like easily. If I'm looking in a mirror right now, I can see my face. I can see my neck. I can see the front top of my body. I can see my hair in the front. And if I'm handling my hair, cleansing or styling it, I can relatively easily see the scalp as I'm parting and handling in this area. But once you get past a certain point, you don't have the advantage of being able to see your scalp. So as a professional, we're standing behind you, we're standing over you so we can see your crown, we can see your sides, we can see the back of your head. So this is going to be the person that's probably the first and most likely to recognize something that you can't easily see or detect. I've seen this happen so many times in the salon, I'm doing somebody's hair and I'll say, did you know you have a bald spot or did you know you have a thin section of hair at your scalp here? The answer is 99.9% .9 of the time, no. And if the answer has ever been yes, they never really knew the extent of it. Like they knew something was there, but they didn't know how bad it was. So my way of helping them see what I see and making sure that we're on the same page, I ask for their phone, I take a photo and I take a video and I make sure that they know that that's what's, you know, what's there, what's present. And chances are they didn't know. So now we have to have a discussion about what could have caused it and what's your treatment plan. And when I have a discussion with you about what could have caused it, it's more so to help you understand that there are some potential scenarios that could have contributed to it. I'm trying to do a process of elimination. Once I rule that out, because you know that's important if it's traction alopecia or tight hairstyling or any issues like that, then I can suggest that you should probably not do these hairstyles anymore. Or if you're going to, make sure you're going to somebody or getting it done by somebody who's skilled, who can actually install these styles with precision and with care. And then I would still likely recommend you see a dermatologist. Here's why. I wanna make sure that there's nothing going on inside of the body that's contributing it to it as well. You also wanna make sure that it hasn't done any damage to the follicles that could eventually leave them lying dormant where the follicle isn't producing any hair. So no hair is growing through that particular section of your head. And if it's something unrelated to traction alopecia, then you definitely wanna see a dermatologist because they're going to be able to dissect what is going on. I will tell you with 100% certainty, a lot of the time that you have to get some type of treatment, some type of diagnosis, some type of understanding of what's happening, that window shortens the longer you wait to see a professional. So if you are trying to do DIY treatments, if you are a little bit nervous or hesitant, and worse, if you don't know that this issue even exists, and you wait months, years even, it may make the situation worse. There are many conditions that I know of personally that are inevitable, meaning you're going to lose your hair regardless, but there are some preventative measures that can be taken to slow down the rate in which you lose that hair. There are also many other instances which are more, we can stop this and prevent it from worsening or you from losing your hair altogether. The only way you'll be able to do that is if you see a professional. So I like to, I'd like to emphasize the importance of making sure that you are being mindful of self-diagnosing, self-treating, and not seeing a medical professional to get a proper diagnosis and a proper treatment to make sure that this is what it is and how to overcome it. Now we have an episode, I think it's episode 55. If I'm wrong, it's in the show notes beneath this video you will be able to listen to alopecia awareness which is an episode that i did featuring a board certified dermatologist who dives a little deeper into some more common types of hair loss related issues um, preventative measures you can take for some of them the importance of seeing a dermatologist what types of treatment plans exist for these different scenarios and so forth so that's something you definitely want to take the time to listen to. But hopefully with this episode, I have le at least helped you understand that hair loss is something that we all suffer from. Scalp related issues is something that we all suffer from, from some point in our life to another. And the best thing you can do is take the advice of a professional who's going to help you understand what's happening, why it's happening and what you may need. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe, share, rate, and even leave a review if you enjoyed this episode. Until next time.